DGK in the building. Two times in the building. Geyser, geyser, geyser. Yippee! In the building, man. Sample. Ah. So right now, man, I decided to talk about this Dragon Ball Super Season 2, which these slurpers think they're actually getting the Season 2, which that's not happening at all. Um, if you're a real Dragon Ball fan, which I'm pretty sure uh, 95% of you people are not real Dragon Ball fans, uh, Dragon Ball lost somebody who was the key figure of keeping Dragon Ball together, and that was the narrator. He played the voice of Captain Ginyu. He was there since the very beginning of Dragon Ball, back in the 80s. Yes, most of you people didn't know Dragon Ball came out in the 80s. So yeah, that was before I was even born. I, I was born in the 90s. Um, that's when I heard about Dragon Ball Z. But I rewatched Dragon Ball, and I love Dragon Ball. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh man, you know, uh, I was here throughout Dragon Ball, because I wasn't even thought of when Dragon Ball came out, but I did watch Dragon Ball, and I enjoy Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball is the heart and foundation of what we have today, and when we lost the narrator, the backbone, the guy who's been here for the longest, that's when Dragon Ball died, okay, so there won't be a season two, and all you slurpers out there claiming to be real Dragon Ball fans, you're not, you got these slurpers, uh, hyping up Radis, making this uh, um, concept video, uh, what ifs, and all this other crap. Like, really, Dragon Ball has always been about going on adventures, looking for the Dragon Balls. Okay, Yamcha used to be the man until Dragon Ball Z, and he died to a Cyberman. I don't know why they decide to let Yamcha go out that way because he was really a beast in Dragon Ball, and it's a shame he went out that way. Same thing with Tien. Uh, Tien used to be the man in Dragon Ball. You know, he took Kid Goku to his limit, you know? And in Dragon Ball Z, you know, he basically lost to Nappa. <laughs> but that's neither here or there. These people are on their little delusional tour thinking that, oh, we're going to get a Dragon Ball Super 2. Listen, I'm going to be honest. Dragon Ball Super was overrated. The Goku Black art is overrated as hell. These slurpers will tell you, uh, Goku Black, Goku Black. If you want to know who the real Goku Black is, the real Goku Black is Turles. Go look him up. Put respect on my boy's name. Turles is the real Goku Black, okay? Most of you fake Dragon Ball fans don't even know who Turles is. So that alone lets me know right there, you're not a real Dragon Ball fan, you know? But the most overrated arc is the Goku Black arc. And if you don't want to consider that, then it's the Tournament of Power, and Jiren is overrated as hell, okay? These slurpers will tell you, oh, what's your favorite super arc? They'll tell you Tournament of Power, which is overrated, or they'll tell you the Goku Black arc. That's what they'll tell you, straight up. And then they'll come up with their uh, what-if videos. You know, what if... Uh, Rad has done this. Raddus sucks, okay? I don't know why people dick ride Raddus so much. Raddus is a trash character. The only good thing about Raddus is the long hair. That's it. Other than that, Raddus sucked. He became a pack in the first episode. Like, let's be honest. He was the first boss and he took and he basically went out like a fucking scrub. Okay. That's the truth of it. So this Raddus fan base, yeah. I don't see how anybody can sit here and say they're a mega fan of this guy when he basically went out, okay? He was the first pack to go, you know? But yeah, like I said, there won't be no Dragon Ball Season 2, and if you don't like you, if you don't like the truth or you don't like the facts that we're spitting, like, right here, these are facts, not opinions. Facts, okay? These fake Dragon Ball fans are the reason why Dragon Ball... Is not Dragon Ball anymore. All these little fucking people care about is power ups, power ups, power ups. You don't hear, you don't even get the the old school style of it of going on adventures. You know, all they care about is when is Goku getting the next power up or when Vegeta is getting the next power up. You don't hear them talking about let's go on adventure to find the Dragon Balls. 
These people ruined Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball will never be the same ever again. And that's the truth of it. So yeah, I blame them for the reason why Dragon Ball will never go back to being Dragon Ball. You know? But yeah, that's all I really got to say, man. These are facts, not opinions. You already know. And if you're mad or you're upset of the truth or you're mad because it's facts over feelings then you know what you can do. Leave your dislike and keep it pushing. Because if you leave a comment saying something stupid or something that's idiotic, you're getting your comment is getting removed and you're getting blocked. And you can go cry to your single mother or whoever's taking care of you. I don't care at this point. Because y'all ruined Dragon Ball. Real Dragon Ball fans like myself know that Dragon Ball started with Goku and Boma. And they went on adventures to find the seven mystical Dragon Balls. Goku wanted to get stronger. He wasn't just giving power-ups or, you know, plot armor. He actually wanted to get stronger. And these people have ruined the essence of Dragon Ball. And that's the truth of it. That ain't opinions. Those are facts. 100% facts. And you can't argue or dispute that. So with that being said, a real Dragon Ball fan is signing out. And that's all I got to say about that.